There's a secret in this hole. Those responsible prefer you not to know. We drop a camera down past tens of meters of hard limestone to reveal a sophisticated tunnel, complete with ventilation, lights. It's large enough for an NBA player to stand in. Israel says it's the work of Hezbollah, the Lebanese militant group with ties to Iran. It was important for the Israeli military to drill as close to this wall as possible. And that's because on the other side of this wall is Lebanon. And what they wanted to show is how Hezbollah's tunnel began in Lebanon and entered Israel. Finding this tunnel, though, wasn't so much on what they saw, but rather on what they heard. Vibrations from drilling exposed the digging. This video shows when the Lebanese militants first discovered their tunnels were no longer a secret. In that video, we see an explosion. What can you tell me about that? The explosion, uh, we decided not to kill those uh, people walking in the tunnels. It, it was a warning for the other side to stay out of the tunnels and we have the tunnels uh, booby trapped. Four tunnels have been uncovered so far. The army expects to find more. Israel says they violate a 12-year-old ceasefire. UN peacekeepers who monitor the border are investigating. Secret, sophisticated technology provides a location. Then they start to drill. There's little margin for error. If it drills half, uh, half a meter to the right or half a meter to the left, that's it, you're out. You're not in the, in the tunnel and you're, uh, you didn't achieve your goal. Kind of like finding a needle in a haystack. It's more complicated than that. The Army says that uncovering the tunnels early has limited the threat, but they had the potential to do Israel great harm. Thousands of civilians living near the border at risk of kidnapping or worse. A senior Hezbollah official previously told CNN the group was surprised by Israel's operation, but neither confirmed nor denied they were digging tunnels. <laughs> Meanwhile, Israel continues to dig down to build up security. Ian Lee, CNN, on Israel's northern border with Lebanon.